Yep, it's a good rock. Oh man, it's a heavy, heavy load. Daddy getting old and weak. Uh. Phew. Well, hello, everybody. So today, what's on the what's on the the subject of the day? Well, poop. Poop is on the subject today. Yeah, lots of poop. You hear the kids talking about poop? They're cleaning up dog poop. And I'm putting on horse poop. So we got a load of horse poop over there, as you can see, from our good friend down in Virginia, Jonathan Huffman. Brought it up yesterday, drove two hours to bring uh, 11 to 12 ton of it up here. And we are dispersing it throughout the entire yard. You guys are gonna get to come along. As we uh, fill up our raised bed, we're gonna fill in our furrows with it, fill up our uh, birdie raised beds, and uh, put some in the greenhouse. So stay tuned, you ain't gonna wanna miss poop. You ain't gonna wanna miss poop. Yeah. We understand, she don't like dog poop. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, y'all, so what we're going to do is fill this raised bed up. Like I was telling y'all last week, it is pretty low. We had goat manure in here last year, and all that has sunk. And you can see, you know, it's, it's turned down pretty, pretty well, you know. But uh, what I want to put in here now uh, is this stuff here. And then I want to see if I can't get the tiller fixed which is also something we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to fix our tiller. If it'll fit in here, I wanna get the tiller in here and till it. So uh, actually, I probably should check that first and see if the tiller will fit in here. If it will, we'll be good. If not, I'll have to dig it up and then incorporate it with that. So let me go get the tiller real quick and see if it fits. All right. Well, peas ain't coming up yet. That's kind of bothersome. Of course, it has been pretty cold the past uh, couple days there. I think it's going to fit up in there. Oh, yeah. It fits, so we're good to go. Well, we'll fix that belt shortly and then uh, after we get the belt fixed we'll uh, we'll till in all this good good stuff that we're getting ready to put in it hokily dokily so back to what we're doing here
do shine, sun 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 do shine. Well, my daddy taught me how to sing. That's why this voice means everything. Sun do shine, you better shine. What's Sun do shine, you better shine. I said, Sun, you better shine. Do 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 do. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all watch Rock a Doodle. Don't act like y'all ain't never watched Rock a Doodle. I know y'all watch Rock a Doodle. Rock doodle doo with you, like a rock doodle doo with me. Come on out of there. Why in the world stuff gets wrapped around them tiller things there and just don't want to come loose? One eternity later. Hopefully, we'll be good to go now. All right, now we now we're cooking with some grease or whatever your preferred method of cooking is. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Let's start incorporating this stuff into the soil, shall we? And so I can, uh, I hope this works. She'll be back on soon enough. Here, take and put this up for Daddy. Can I help you plant anything? Yep, yep. We'll plant some stuff here in just a few minutes. Yes, ma'am. Let me get some more of my work done. We just put up near the raised beds we put on the side of the house. There's a rake there. Grab it for me. Good girl. That's my girl. I'm sorry. Thank you, honey. You did good. You did good. I could hold it a little bit. Yeah. It was real heavy. Do you like that nice white color on that pond? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. 
All right, this over here is going to have to have more as well, I think. Have to get another whirlburl. Put some more dirt in it. A little low back here. All right, guys, so uh, I'm going to plant this stuff real quick before um, it gets too late. I'm, I'm worried that it'll get later and I won't be able to finish it. So I want to go ahead and finish this up, the, plant, the, the planting, and then if there's time after a while, I'll get, to, uh, I'll get back there and continue to fill up those, uh, those furrows with compost. But... We got uh, we got some good plants going on here. You guys can see, we've uh, we've got uh, some some giants and and uh, and we've got uh, some regular garden stuff. So I'm looking here. This here is a uh, world record Swedes. These here are world record Swedes right here. There's two of them here, and then these here are the layman Swedes. We've got three of them there and so we're going to plant those swedes uh, over here on this side we had planted them i think what we'll do there's seven we'll plant one skip plant skip plant skip plant skip so uh let's see here we will take the first one and put it right here This stuff should be good stuff for it to grow in this year. I hope anyhow. Now I may have to figure something out. You know, they're supposed to be able to take temperatures and stuff like that. You know, temperature, you know, because you know, it's not supposed to be frost hardy. And I know it's going to frost. So go ahead and pop that one there out. Got nice looking roots there. Hang on a minute. I forgot. We need some, we need some El Special stuff. But I ain't got on me yet. Gotta get some Azos and some Mycos out here. Forgot, almost forgot the special sauce, man. The sauce, man. All right, guys. So uh, I mix my Azos and Mycos together. You can do whatever you want, but you can see in here, you can see the difference. There's Mycos on the bottom, Azos right here. And just take it and and try to mix it up as good as possible and that way when you put them on your roots you know they're they're mixed in and and you're getting it pretty pretty well dispersed and, and evenly put on both uh both types so and generally it's it's probably a little bit more mycos than azos yeah you want to be careful with the azos because you can burn the plants if you're not careful. And all I'm going to do is just take the plant and and just do like this. Put a little bit on there like so. And really, it's not much. Just a little bit. And then put a little bit in the hole like that right there. Put it in there like so. Backfill. Like that, I'll cover it up real good and block it up. When I mean block it up, I mean forcing that um, that that plant, you know, stand tall. All right. Now, last year I grew a pretty big couple. I got the state record for them, but last year I grew some pretty good sized ones inside. Then I brought them out. This year, completely different. I'm planting them like this. They're going to be in these bigger pots, you know, these big uh, four cells right here from Epic Gardening. And you can get these at epicgarden.com. You can save 5% right now. 
uh, if you uh, use discount code HHH Triple H. All right. So anyhow, we got um, got some room there. Oh, probably I'd say two and a half foot. And we'll put the next one. Last year I made the mistake of planting them too close together. The, there was two of them I planted very close together, and it wasn't necessarily a mistake. It was just um, it wasn't good because at in the end of the day. Um, I needed that. Uh, I needed. I needed to have them spaced out a little bit further. And if I would have, they probably wouldn't have had such bad rot and stuff. You know, they'd been able to breathe a little bit better or whatever. But you know, it is what it is. So you learn from your mistakes. All right, put some azos in the hole. Put that one in there. And it's a nice. That's a nice one there too. It's got a pretty nice long side there. Long top already. So there's that one. Now these are the T Layman's. T. Layman, all right, there was four of them I planted, four of these giant Swedes, only three of them came up, and only two of the world record ones come up. I'm kind of curious, I wonder where that seed is here in this one right here. I wonder if it, I uh, wonder if I can find it, probably not. It's a tiny seed, I think Swede seeds are. I wonder why it didn't pop though. It's very odd that a Swede seed don't pop. All right, so I got one more of them uh, T. Layman's. I'm gonna move it on down. We've got tons of cabbage coming up and stuff. So, all right, so let's see here. About another two and a half foot again. And we'll put the next one, which is a little bit smaller. So that'll be the third T. Layman. And this is, I'm just telling this for my own so I can go back and watch this video later because I know I'll forget which one it come off of. And so I can go back to this video and, and reference this later. Uh, guys, I'll, I really want you to take note of this too. This, um, this dirt that I'm using, this, uh, oh goodness, can't think of the name of it. Uh, Malibu is really good stuff. Seeds done really, really well in this stuff. So I'm quite pleased with the Malibu compost and uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to them sending me, sending me some this year. They're supposed to, supposed to be a sponsor and, uh, and everything. So I'm hoping, uh, hoping they're still wanting to do that. I ain't heard from them. I've wrote them a couple times and they ain't heard nothing back. So don't know what's going on there it's a busy time of the year for most of these folks so i try to cut them some slack where we can all right so we got three t layman's planted now they don't need two and a half inch or two and a half foot spacing so we have some giant parsnips that have came up we've gotten one two three and four so far that's come up this one right here is a pretty big one, so I'm going to take it, this giant parsnip right here. No, excuse me. That's a giant cauliflower. Well, how many is there? Two. Two giant cauliflowers and then four giant parsnips. All right. So this is a giant cauliflower. I'm going to pop him out. And I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to plant him over here in my little area right here between these two rascals. Actually, I'm gonna plant him kind of to the front right here. He's, he'll eh, right in between them, just like so. I'll bring my stuff here. Again, sprinkle it on. Put him in the hole. All right, there we go. There's that one. Now, what else do we got here? We've got another, got another one right here. He's just a tiny little filler. Just now coming up. We'll take him anyhow. We'll go ahead and pull him out. This other stuff, I'm not sure. I don't think we were getting quite enough water in this other stuff here. So we're gonna have to give it more water. And we're gonna plant him right here in the front between these two right here. Hopefully he'll do well. If he don't, well, we'll figure something else out. We'll plant something else here. We'll come on out of there. There we go. There's that. Now, um, got more giant swedes. I think I'm going to plant those giant swedes on the side of the house. Should I? Yes, I should. I should plant them on the side of the house. Now, these are interesting because these are the Barrett's beetroots. And right now, I've only gotten, 
That's very odd. But so far I've only gotten a couple to pop. And I planted eight of them and only two of them popped. So we'll take the good one and we'll plant it here. So where we want to plant it at. I'm going to say we'll plant it right, right here on the back side here is where we'll plant this one at. We'll pop him out just like so. And if the rest of them come on out, then that's fine too. My goodness gracious, look at the roots on that thing. This Malibu compost, guys, I'm telling you. The, the, seed, the seed starter, boost seed starter, stuff works. Look at that stuff. Look at... Look at the mycelium already on this stuff. It's crazy. Y'all see the mycelium already on here? That, that, that fuzzy stuff, that's mycelium. That's wild. Look at that root already doing, doing work. Good, good, good. I'm getting low battery, that stinks. So, gotta hurry up. I mean, poked around too much playing with everything else today, didn't I? All right, we got that one right here somewhere, right there. I need to stick something there so I don't forget where it's at. Because if I don't, I know I will. Just put it right there. Alright, that's here. Goes back here. Give it plenty of room. Off to the side there. Just like so. Alright, come on. And have some more end up coming out um, end up popping up because I planted them caddy corner so if some more end up coming up we'll grab it and, and uh, pull it off there and, and plant them too so this one here has two of them we'll plant those excuse me, on the side of the house just trying to give them some different places to be planted so we don't uh, booger them up uh, let's see here now What's next? We have giant kohlrabi. Eight of them. Eight giant kohlrabis. And, yep. All right, so, and we have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. We got seven out of eight. So, let's find a place to plant, plant them in this bed here. We won't plant them all. We'll plant the uh, We'll plant a few of them here because they did pretty good here last year. They also did good alongside the house too. So, all right, so we got two really big ones here. Good night of living. Look at them things. Crazy, crazy nice looking roots. All right, so let's see here. What do we want to do here? How do I want to do this? I know we're going to have to separate them. So let's see here. We'll, what we'll do? They're going to need. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll plant them, we'll plant them like this in rows of two here. And so I'll start here, right here, like that, and then right here like that. And then however big they get, oh no, I need to fill that one in, that's too close. They kind of come like this, right there, like that. Yeah, and then this one right here, put it like that. All right, there we go, that's good. Now let's kind of see if we can't tap it and separate some of these roots. I just I don't want to don't want to mess them up, but I also don't want to. Come on, guys, easy does it. Don't break on me. Don't break. Just come apart easy. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Looking good. All right, so. A little bit of that booze over there then. Get a little bit of booze here. Oh, there's that. We'll plant this one right here. Just like so. And then we'll take this one over here. Plant it. Just like so. Right, there we go. Got the cold robbies. Now we need to plant two more of them. Make sure this stuff stays mixed up good. 
It has a tendency to try to separate. All right, so give me about that much space. Should be good. Get that hole dug like that. And this hole right here. Dug like so. All right. That should be plenty of room, I think. You know, they might come over the boards a little bit, but if they do, that's all right. Now, this one here is a pretty big one. Let's plant two of the smaller ones here, shall we? That way we have, you know, some big ones on the side of the house. We're not giving all the big ones up here to this bed. All right. So here, just gently tapping, kind of trying to get that root ball, that dirt where you know, bust it up a little bit. And just kind of lightly remove it like so. Right, throw some abu over there. You always want to keep some of the original soil with your plants if you are separating them. I've never had an issue separating them. Some people might. I've never had it. You know, thank God. Uh, but you can have some issues separating them. So be very, very careful if you do separate your plants. All right. Um, so just kind of a warning to you. You want to be as careful as possible. Right, there's that. Right, there's the kohlrabis. Right there's four of them. That leaves three for the for the epic garden bed. All right now, here we have the hotten carrots. We've only got two of those rascals up. The flackens came up pretty good. Um, what else we got here? We got giant onions that have not popped yet, but they probably will. We have the layman green cabbage and the Barrett red cabbage. So the red cabbages are up. I think we're gonna give them just a little bit longer. Now, we will take some of these flacking carrots real quick because they're, they're looking pretty big. They're looking big and healthy. All right, and so um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them so far. And I know there'll probably be more because carrots are kind of finicky and slow. So don't want to rush it. Take these four and separate it. Take these two and separate it. We'll put a couple of them here. We'll put a couple of them in that over there. And then as they grow up and out, we can uh, fill that up maybe or should I go on ahead and fill it up now not quite sure hmm let me think about this what do I want to do what do I want to do what do I want to do carrots grew good here last year the only problem was I ended up getting center rot root or center root rot there we go um yeah I just don't know what I want to do it kind of gets me a little boogers all right so let's see we'll we'll plant some over here and this stuff here, it's pretty good stuff. It does need to be kind of lifted up a little bit higher. I hope y'all are still with me. <laughs> Ooh, boy, a lot of roots in that too. Like good roots. Flacky 17. sure y'all still with me here yeah you're still there all right let's see here take this little tool here and go right here and make a hole right here and make a hole just like so and down here make a hole 
and then right here make a hole like that now it should suffice now try to take some of this here and push put some down the hole with it that should be good and we'll just kind of fill it in real quick like so in here yeah, it's gonna be all right. Okay, there's that one. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I'm not make a mistake. I'm planting them about two weeks earlier than I did last year, but I think it's necessary try to avoid the mess haps. Now I did plant some of them late in the summer that I harvested in the fall, which was what my state record was. So you, know, you just you just never know though, you know, it's kind of a one of them hit and miss kind of deal sometimes with with that. Now we'll take the rest of these these other two flack and flacky seventeens and we'll put those in the back and then we'll have two of them left that we will nurture indoors we're going to keep letting the hottens grow indoors so what's next here we've got some red cabbages uh, we're going to let those continue to grow indoors and stuff so everything here is pretty much squared up in this one so now what's next we have uh we have some triple parsley growing and uh i think it needs to grow just a little bit longer some of it we have some uh some fennel some rosemary and some mint. The rosemary's up, the fennel and the mint is not. Oh, take that back. The mint is coming up. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. Little, 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 little stuff. We have some asparagus growing. We have some uh, lettuce uh, leafed uh, basil coming up. We have some Sapporo giant cabbages coming up and some late flat duchess. My goodness, would you look at those roots? So, yeah, we're going to plant some of that right now. Let's see here. So let's see, we got one giant cabbage there that I just don't think is gonna do anything. <sighs> but we'll take and we'll take this and pop this one out here. Golly day. There's a bunch of roots in that thing. And a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of uh, cabbages. There's three or four cabbages in this thing here. Let me see if I can get them separated, maybe. Hopefully. I don't know if I can or not. I want to try. We're gonna give it the old college try there, Gentis. All you gotta do is just if you can work the, you know, it looks rough, but I'm not being rough. You just don't want to break. You want the dirt to come out, and you want the roots to separate. You can't get the roots to separate unless you get the dirt to come out. So you just got to be very, very you know, careful how you do it. But generally, if you work from the bottom like that, up, they come apart as they let go of the dirt. <laughs> All right, come on. Well, it shows you how far behind I am on everything. I should have separated these a week or so ago, and I just ain't had time. I have been super busy between me and Annie and you know her her health scares and my health scares. You know, it's been quite quite interesting here as of late. So I'm gonna plant one of them here. And then we'll plant another one there. Just like so. Right, there's that. There's that one. Now these are the these really big cabbages. I mean they get massive, like huge is, is a, kind of an understatement so we just gotta we may have to call some okay and if we do that's quite all right you know, uh, or harvest some early or something you know but i i want i want to make sure i get an official record on one of these this year so there's that we'll leave that giant cabbage there just to see what it'll do in fact give it a little little oomph there of some stuff 
All right, so let's see. We got two more that we can plant in here. Let's go ahead and take them and mosey on down here. Right here. So we'll plant one here. Just like so. And one right here. What is that? A rock. Where's the rock at? I can't find it. Maybe it wasn't rock, I don't know. Alright, so. Well, that's something there. Yeah, there it is. Boop. Get it out. Can we have rocks in here? No rocks. This is a no rock zone. <laughs> no rock zone. And then here's this one back here. Oh, there's that. Like so, okay. Well, we got four of them in here. Now, what else can we handle? Golly day. These cabbages here are are going wild. What are these? No, uh, them's Brussels sprouts. I gotta get them somewhere. These are teak cabbages and Kalibos cabbage and then Reuben Brussels. Hang on a minute. Goninger Brussels and Reuben Brussels. Okay. Alright, man, we got a lot of crap to plant. Alright, there are a lot of... I'm gonna leave that open. What can I do down here? Those are rutabagas. There won't be no room for no big, great big cabbages. So I pretty much got this planted out. All right, well, we're gonna have to move along, aren't we? So let's just get our stuff and move along. Uh, where I wanna go? Probably go over here to this bed over here. No, I can't go to that bed because I ain't put no dirt on it yet. Hang on a minute, I'll turn you off and put some dirt down and then we'll go over we put some compost in here we gotta get it spread out probably need another wool burrow full in here as well so oh man i meant to water that too hang on all now. right guys so i had to take my phone put it on charge while i did this and it didn't get put on charge i took it and gave it to Jaden. kira took it from Jaden and then put it in there and it didn't charge it up so i don't have but two percent battery life so we gotta hurry up now went on ahead and filled this bed up with dirt all right, that was not going to be the plan, but I need to put these plants in the dirt. I don't have time to put them in the dirt tonight because I wanted to get it on camera. Now, I was going to put it over here. On, uh, I was gonna put the dirt on top of this and I realized I just planted this the other day. So I can't put the dirt on top of here right now. So we'll have to continue this on tomorrow. All right, but, um, you know, you'll get to see today's video. Peas are coming up here. You guys can see all those. And that needs weeded. And then we need to kind of hedge it up a little bit and get it kind of, you know, in order. And then we need to um, put some compost around this. The beds are full right here. So all those are good and full. We'll be planting those tomorrow. So stay tuned. Tomorrow, we're going to plant everything. You guys, look down there. Don't that look nice? All them banners hanging up. So today's sponsor, well, it's easy. Today's sponsor of the videos are Ken Bar, Aero Mixer, Prevagenics, and Extreme Gardening. All right, guys, so uh, go check out all their products. I guarantee you, you can use them. They're good quality products, and they work. All right, from everything from Ken Bar products heat, that are custom heat mats and other things for greenhouses and such, check them out on their website. Aero mixer is a great one to, to be able to do um, your, your mixing of your fertilizers and your compost teas. Prevagenics has got great fertilizers available. Extreme Gardening has got great stuff that you guys see me using today, which is the Mycos and the Azos. All right, so nice, good companies, great stuff, great customer service and everything. Go check them all out. Sorry that we ran out of time. I spent too much time, you know, fooling around, I guess, with, you know, trying to get the dirt, the compost everywhere, you know. And uh, maybe I should have spent more time, you know, showing you guys what I, you know, planting or something. But I want to show you, I want everybody to see everything I do here, right? So you guys can kind of get a feeling of what I do and 
how much dirt goes into it and stuff, you know. Uh, tomorrow, my wheelbarrow broke. That was another issue that we had. So the wheelbarrow's broke. I gotta go find something to fix that. But uh, tomorrow we'll use the side by side and we'll fill in. We'll uh, bring it back here and dump dirt all back in through here on this patch. And I'm probably gonna end up needing more because I'm probably almost halfway through that dirt already. Uh, we used quite a bit of it today. So guys, uh, as always, we appreciate you watching, and we'll see you tomorrow right here in the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. Don't forget to smash that like button. That notification bell. <laughs> Don't get the door. Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Don't get the door. Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.